Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video um, that I was tagged in by the super cute and beautiful Tabby Violet. Hi Tabby. Um, she tagged me in this video and I am very excited to finally be doing it. So this is the um, forever bag or forever items in my collection. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first bag in question is an obvious one and that is my Chanel Jumbo with silver hardware and black caviar leather. Um, I love this bag. It's such a classic piece and it's something that's been in style and been around for so many years and I can um, take this bag 40 years from now and give it to, um, if I have a daughter, I would give it to my daughter or I would rock it myself. Um, but for sure, whenever I am ready to let this bag go, I am definitely going to pass it down um, to a family member of mine because this bag will forever be a forever bag. So um, yeah, my Chanel Jumbo, I was almost considering selling it at one point to get the medium large, but I just found that this size looks so much better on me and I'm happy that I kept it and I think it's more versatile because it um, goes crossbody and it's a bigger bag so it's great for daytime but I also find myself wearing this for more dressier occasions so yeah and I'm happy that I went with the silver hardware because it's more modern and I just feel like um, it's just more updated so I love my Chanel Jumbo and it's not going anywhere. So the next piece, I'm sorry that I'm bending down, um, is a piece that you guys might be shocked from because it is a trendy piece and that would be my Gucci Marmont in the small size in cobalt blue velvet. Um, this bag you guys know I love because of its color and how unique it is. Now the Marmont line I find is super trendy and it's not something that I would go and buy like a whole bunch of bags in that line just because I know it's trendy and um, to be honest with you I'm, a, I'm getting a little sick of seeing it everywhere but because of the color and the velvet and just it being so unique from any other bag in my collection or any other bag that anyone might have I just feel like in 20, 30, 40 years from now I'm just gonna like whip this bag out and it's gonna be the hottest freaking bag ever just because of how cool it is like I just feel like no matter what, it's going to be on point. Like, it's just so cool. Like, you can wear all black. You can wear denim. You can wear just anything. And this bag just screams. So, to me, this is just a statement bag that will always be around for me. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Um, and also, the size of the small is perfection. If you are looking for um, a Marmont bag, I would go with the small size, 100%. So yeah, my Gucci Marmont cobalt blue um, velvet in the small size. Love that. Now, um, I guess we'll stick with some Gucci. My Gucci Dionysus in the large size with the black suede. This bag is freaking beautiful. This, to me, when I'm wearing this bag, I feel like a boss bitch. Like, this is the boss, big, boss bitch bag of all bags. It is just beautiful. Um, it makes a statement, but it's monogram, so it's not so loud. Actually, monogram is usually loud. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can't explain it. I don't wear this bag as much as I wish I should. I wish I did. I don't wear it that much, or even at all. I guess it's because it's so heavy, and I have a lot of other bags that aren't as heavy. But I just will never let this bag go. It is just a gorgeous bag, and I find that. Because it is the monogram canvas, years from now it's still going to be that in bag that you can just wear any season, any time of the year, anywhere. And I really do love it. And it fits so much. Like I said, it gets heavy. The chain is very substantial. But I do love it. And I'm definitely going to make an effort to wear it more. So yeah, my Gucci Dionysus. And now back over to a Chanel piece. Now... Um, this is my Chanel Mini Rectangular in the Chevron with Iridescent Caviar Leather. And I think it's caviar or calfskin. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys know, let me know. Um, but this particular bag in this style may not be in my collection forever, but I will definitely, if I ever sell this, I will definitely be getting another Chanel Mini Rectangular just because its size is perfection, especially when you're just running out for errands or 
um, you just don't need a lot with you. And then when I go out at night or when I have an event, I just wrap it around to make the strap shorter because I find that a longer strap isn't dressy. But ta-da, there you go. Shorter strap, dressier bag. I love it. Super versatile and it does fit a lot for its size. It doesn't fit like if you're a person that carries like tons of things on a daily basis, you're not going to find that this fits a lot at all. For me, it fits everything that I need. So the Chanel Mini Rectangular will forever be in my collection for sure. Um, and then one of my last bags or items is my Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26. This is a vintage piece. Um, I wear this as a clutch. I use it as a catch-all in one of my bags. I use it as a cosmetic pouch, which is what it really is. Um, and to me, this is a classic piece that will always be around. It's Louis Vuitton monogram. You can't go wrong with it. Um, I take it on errands. I take it on vacation. I always take this on vacation. Because Why? Because I put my makeup in it. I get to the hotel, empty that out. And then this is my clutch for the day, for night, whatever. It's freaking awesome. Highly, highly, highly recommend this piece. Um, I believe it goes for like $4.50, something like that. So it's very affordable for Louis Vuitton um, or any designer bag. And I love it. The only thing is, is that because it's vintage, my zipper broke. And I did hear that Louis Vuitton replaces zippers for free. If you guys have ever had this, this experience, please let me know what happened. Um, the store is not so close to me, so I just don't want to go there and then tell, then tell me that I'm out of luck. So please let me know, guys. And the last bag I don't have right now because I left it in my son's room and he's sleeping, so we're not even going to go there, um, would definitely be the most basic bitch bag ever, and that is my Louis Vuitton Never Fall in the GM size. And the reason why I, um, that it will be a forever bag is because I just can't see myself traveling or doing an overnighter or whatever without that bag. It is just, it fits literally everything. It's never full, just like its name. And um, you just look like you're in style when you're traveling. And I don't know, it's so durable. It, it Like you could fit so many things in there and the straps like, I don't know, I don't know how it holds all that stuff. So. To me, that will definitely be in my collection forever, and if anything ever happened to it, I would have to replace it at some point because it just it's just a classic piece. Like, I don't know, you can't go wrong with it. It is just, it fits everything. I don't really wear it um, in the daytime, but um, it depends. Depends what I'm doing that day. I would bring it to the beach. Um, but to me, it's more of a travel bag or like, if I'm bringing, if I'm spending the whole day out with my son, I would definitely bring that bag. Um, but I do love it, and I do recommend it. It's also a great work bag for any of you that need a bigger bag for work. Highly recommend it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please let me know what your forever pieces are in your collection. I would love to hear what you guys like. If any of mine are in your collection, please let me know. I'd love to hear. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you. Bye.